Hello, uh, my name is Nathan Luchens. I'm the Executive Conference Minister for Central Plains Mennonite Conference. I'm here with Norm Yoder, our Treasurer, and uh, Ted Widmer, our Finance Officer. We're going to talk just for a few minutes, uh, give you a little bit of a, a rundown on, on the finances of Central Plains and, and where we're at coming into this year's annual meeting. Um, it is the green section if you have the paper copy of the workbook for this year's annual meeting. And on our webpage, um, up on the Central Plains 2024 annual meeting webpage, it's on the right hand side under the tab financing our work. And so you can uh, take a look at those. Uh, if you have any questions, be sure to bring any questions you have about the blueprint or about uh, the finances of Central Plains, bring them to annual meeting. Uh, we will be talking about some of this stuff there. Uh, but Without further ado, I'm going to pass it on to our treasurer, Norm Yoder. Thank you, Nathan, and welcome to each of the candidates, each of you as candidates. We are glad for your participation in uh, conference this year. We are extremely grateful for the tremendous support from both the churches of the Central Plains Conference and significant increase in individuals giving to the conference. Our blueprint, our budget for 24-25 is an increase from $443,219.61 to $446,122.68 for a total increase of $2,903.07 or a 0.7% increase. The salaries and benefits take up 4.5% of our budget. And for our salaries, we follow the MCUSA guidelines, um, and which increased by 4.2%. We this, feel this is a very realistic, um, albeit a conservative increase for 24-25, but we think that it, it does meet the needs of the conference at this time. Now I'm going to ask Ted Whitmer to speak to our small deficit from last year and where our income has come from and how it has changed in this past uh, year or two. Ted? Um, thank you, Norm. Um, in the last year, we had a very large um, um, wage increase according to the guidelines, and that's what increased quite a bit more than what what we expected. We ended up with a deficit of $6,831.09. Um, it was not as bad as what it could have been, thanks to several very large donations by individuals. Um, we're seeing a trend that as our church base dwindles, we lose churches, it seems, every year. Um, the individuals have been picking up the slack. Um, last year, 35.6% of our um, donations came from individuals, not churches. Uh, the prior year was 26.3%. So our individual donations are increasing. Uh, whether we can sustain that is very questionable. Um, so that is our concern as to how we can finance um, this while our donor base seems to be dwindling. Thanks, thank you, gentlemen. Um, yeah, to to that point, I, I think it's important for us to note, I, I think I agree with what Norm said earlier, we are deeply grateful for all of the individual giving that has, has helped us meet our, our budget. We, we will start this year in a strong cash position again, uh, we, we, we started in a strong cash position last year, and so uh, just going down by $6,800 does not change that significantly. So we will start with a strong cash position. But one of the things we're going to do at this year's annual meeting is begin to have some serious conversations about what are the the, the most important needs that our, that our congregations have, uh, what are the things that they most need help with from the conference, and how do we best supply those, those needs to congregations moving forward. Um, so we are gonna we're gonna begin to really take a serious look at this and figure out how we can best provide what con congregations need. Um, we we we're at this point where where we don't know what the future holds for sure, but we are we are we trust that God holds the future, and we will we will walk in that and see where God takes us. Um, 
So yeah, we are looking forward to seeing you all uh, later on this week uh, when we gather together in Wayland, Iowa for our Central Plains Annual Meeting. Thanks.